What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today. I was in my trophy lodge the other day looking at the difference between a couple of my uh, diamond fallow deer. I was basically comparing the 276 max weight that we found recently to, to a, a 265, just a normal diamond fallow deer. So I thought I would make a little video just to show you guys um, the difference between the two um, and it's quite drastic. If you enjoy the video, drop a like on it, leave a thumbs up, really appreciate it. Helps the channel a whole bunch. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. But Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So for those of you that have seen the video or were there in the stream, I was very, very shocked to find this guy. And when I did, um, my brain pretty much convinced me that it was not a big fallow when I picked this guy up. And you can, right off the bat, you can see the difference. When I downed this guy, if you've seen the video or if you were in the stream, you know this, but I thought it was a small diamond. I don't think he, I don't know, hang on. He might be a smaller diamond, I think. I think he is a diamond. 276? He's a max weight. Oh my god. 276? Okay. I don't even know what to say about that. My biggest before this was a 266, and I've got 11 diamonds. This guy is coming in hot, bro, as a 276. I saw the width. I thought I saw how, how kind of wide this uh, configuration was. And immediately I was like, okay, well, this has to be a smaller one then because the diamonds, every diamond that I've seen, every single fallow diamond that I've seen, uh, has this rack where it's a huge rack. It's very very tall. The antlers are absolutely massive But the antlers at the top kind of bow in right They're bowed they're bowed inward not a massive widespread and basically when I saw this guy I saw kind of that wide spread going on and I basically immediately my, my brain was like hey, well There's no way those are the big antlers because that would just be ridiculous So I was like, okay, this has to be a smaller guy like you see some of those smaller, you know the big four fallow the score around 230 they kind of have that big, big, uh, big, wide uh, tip to tip spread on them going on. So, um, picked him up. He was a 276 and uh, didn't even know that they could get that big. But I want to point out a couple things now that I've kind of taken a closer look at this guy. There's a few things that I have noticed. So, his antlers are just in general bigger. If you look at the two different antlers, at first I thought that it was the same antler, but just wider. It's almost as if. Someone took this rack, took the wide rack, and kind of pinched it shut for these smaller diamonds. But it actually is a, a different antler. And if you look at this kind of opening up in the spellers on top here, um, you can see the difference. You can see how much bigger this one is. And you can also see a difference here on, we've got kind of this like split point up on this speller up top here. Both spellers on the top of these antlers They've I've counted out the points. They are all, this is an 11 point, and this is an 11 point as well up on the speller up on top here. And then you've got the uh, the extra points coming from the, the bez time and the brow time. But this one is different. You've got this one that has kind of a split on it, whereas this one kind of has just the, the, the separate tines. There's nothing with a split except for that one in the back. So it is actually a different antler, just slightly different, but quite a bit bigger. This guy's quite a bit bigger. You can, see, you can really see it once you get up close. The brow tines... You can see the difference here, quite a bit bigger as well as the best time there. And uh, I've spent quite a bit of time looking at these and I'm just, I, I really am, I'm in, I'm in awe at the width. The tip to tip spread on this guy is just ridiculous. I wish that you could see a little bit more as far as the stats on the trophies in the lodge. I wish I could see the weight. Kind of curious what the weight on this guy is. I'm guessing maybe like five kilos under max. You can see this guy's a little bit wonky too. He's got a little bit different height going on. He's pretty much exactly the same at the, at the tips at the very top, but he's a little bit wonky in here. So pretty cool. This guy is super symmetrical. I think he's actually perfectly symmetrical. But yeah, I wish that we could see the tip to tip spread. I wish we could see a little bit more info. Hopefully that's something that will be um, added in the future so that we can see the weight, see some of the other attributes on the trophies. I would love to see the um, the actual trophy info that you can see on the harvest screen in the trophy lodges. This guy's a 265. He's not my biggest. He's not quite my biggest before I got this 276 max weight. I do have a, a few 266s, but I've I've pretty much compared the 266s with the 265s. It's pretty much exactly the same thing. And all my other fallow are actually in huddle mounts 
other than this one and this guy now that we have this guy so I decided to put him up against this guy and yeah I just wanted to show you guys that I want to show you guys the difference it's pretty cool as you back up you can really kind of see it it is super cool man the fallow deer are amazing I would love to see a fallow deer great one in this game I can only imagine what that would look like I mean they would almost look like an Irish elk it would look so cool I would be completely fine with uh, a fallow deer next for the next great one or a moose or an elk what do you guys want to see for the next great one do you guys want a fallow deer does anybody want a fallow deer great one for the next great one let me know down in the comments are you guys on uh are you guys on team moose team elk what do you guys want for the next great one let me know man but yeah that's pretty much it just wanted to show you guys that hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel but yeah take care you guys be safe and i will see you guys in the next one <laughs>